Well, uh, they are marginally below our estimate, largely because of uh, the lower than estimated number in the international zone operations. Uh, also, the, the uh, INO operations continue to uh, report losses, so that is where the disappointment has come. Uh, but the aluminum numbers have been quite good and quite better than what we were expecting. In fact, the EBIT contribution has uh, uh, is double of what we were expecting, so they have delivered very strong numbers on the aluminum front. And it is what uh, we were uh, looking at uh, for the future because aluminum is what would be driving the earnings for the standalone entity or the aluminum with uh, all the consolidation. Is this one time left uh, that the company is reported? I think it is uh, regarding to the change in acquisition policy for in India that is what has led to the uh, big one time loss. Uh, will be not say that they have changed their uh, fixing policy for King India. So that is what has left to be soft all over there. Okay. So all in all, uh, would you say, Karan, that you know, uh, your view on the stock or on the company remains unchanged at this point in time? Or uh, you know, you are hopeful that based on the slight um, high performance, let's say, you know, in some of the sectors, and even in the sector which is doing better, uh, that you would want to revise your view on the stock? No, I think we will maintain our accumulatory tier rating on the stock. Uh, we, we have a target price of 220, which would be revising post uh, the management commentary on the aluminum business and the power business. All right, uh, Adam, a couple of questions. With regard to the power business, what is the PC action that you have been in? It's holding stronger around 500 vehicles than the ZS plant. So, uh, is that more or less than I would want to estimate it? It is 20% uh, higher than what we were expecting. I think the TCRC margins and the asset realization have been better than what we were expecting. Mm -hmm. That is the uh, display over here. All right, and also with regard uh, to the power and aluminium business, uh, were, you, were you expecting such good numbers? Would that mean that in fact coal sourcing is getting better for them? Well, I think aluminium we were not expecting. Uh, the aluminium numbers are way really better than what we were expecting. Uh, but the power numbers are below our estimate. We were expecting the SCL division to do better. But the production numbers have been quite lower than what we were uh, expecting. And also the realizations have been lower than uh, the previous quarter. So, even the power division has been marginally lower than our estimate. But the, the sharp out performance is in the case of aluminium numbers. All right. Um, I'm a question with regard to the IMO business. I've given you a negative bit of nearly around 100. 160 crores, so that's uh, if you just look at a sequential basis or even a yearly basis, and in fact is just uh, getting wider. When exactly are you factoring in some part of the IMO operations to get up and going? And currently, I think uh, your valuation said that you are looking at a share price of around 200 value rupees. How much is that is the IMO business? Have you given any value to the IMO business? No. Uh, the previous quarter's announcement was even showing uh, in Indian Karnataka as well as the uh, expectation of in the mining in Goa, we had uh, given 6 rupees value to the IMO business. We do not have a major uh, value contributed to the overall half price. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Let's get back.